Good morning. The Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab has said Britain and Pakistan have a shared interest in creating a stable and peaceful future for Afghanistan. He was speaking in Islamabad after talks with the Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi. Mr Raab wants Pakistan to help support refugees fleeing Afghanistan who couldn't get on flights to Britain and he promised the UK would shoulder its humanitarian responsibilities. But earlier, Pakistan's High Commissioner to Britain said the country did not have the capacity to take any more refugees from Afghanistan. Dominic Raab said he wanted relations between the UK and Afghanistan to go to the next level. The bedrock, the basis of the UK-Pakistan relationship is very strong. Um, uh, and like uh, His Excellency, the UK has desire, the will, and uh, to, to take it to ne the next level. Um, we also... Uh, have very clear and shared interests in the future of Afghanistan. After the Kabul airlift, we evacuated over 15,000 people um, to the UK, uh, which was uh, un unprecedented for uh, modern times, certainly for the UK. Um, and we're working together to continue the secure, safe passage for those who haven't yet made it out of Afghanistan, uh, whether they're British nationals or indeed uh, those who have worked for us. Um, and uh, it was important to, to have the opportunity, and I'm very grateful uh, to the government for making this possible, to go up to talk and to see for myself the situation on the ground uh, and talk to people on the ground and, and really understand it uh, at that level. Um, as for the UK, uh, we're very mindful of the situation for Afghanistan's neighbours. We will be shouldering our humanitarian responsibilities. We've uh, increased our <coughs> aid budget for for Afghanistan this year to 286 million pounds and we will also be supporting those countries who face the greatest demands uh, for those uh, who may be displaced in the weeks ahead. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said his country would have to coexist with the Taliban. We are neighbors. Uh, we have to coexist. Geography ties us together. So our approach has to be somewhat different realistic, uh, as the Foreign Secretary said. There's a new reality uh, that's come about. And uh, what we have said, we have been, uh, while the negotiations were on in Doha, you know, and you know, we facilitated the peace process, uh, uh, it couldn't uh, sort of uh, come to a, a sort of a conclusion, you know, there's a stalemate. But what we said was, we have no favorites. Now, we've learned over the years that Afghanistan is a country which comprises of different ethnic groups. Taliban represents one, and, 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 a, and a prominent one, but the others. And that is why we have said uh, it is in your interest as neighbors and friends and well wishes to adopt an inclusive approach. Uh, when we uh, are dealing with Afghanistan, please do not forget uh, that there are certain compulsions that we have to deal with that perhaps you don't have to. For example, there are daily crossings of about 20 to 25,000 people in, in normal times. That's a huge number. Can we block them? No, we can't. Can we regulate them? Yes, we should. Uh, are there risks? Yes, they are. There are organizations over there that are not friendly to you, us, and, or anyone. So we have to guard against that as well. There are reports from Afghanistan of heavy fighting around the Panjshir Valley between Taliban and groups which oppose their takeover of the rest of the country. It's a rugged area to the north of the capital, Kabul, and is the last remaining area not under Taliban control. The anti-Taliban fighters are a multi-ethnic group made up of militias and former Afghan security force members, reportedly numbering in the thousands. Large numbers of Taliban fighters are reported to have launched an assault on their positions. Our correspondent, Yagita Limai, said the fighting was affecting the Taliban's announcement of a government. One of the reasons the Taliban is holding off 
uh, an announcement on the formation of a new government is the situation in Panjshir province, northeast of Kabul, where we know uh, that anti-Taliban forces uh, are holding control of that region. So it's a part of Afghanistan they do not control. Uh, over uh, the past night, there's been intense fighting in the area, and the resistance forces say they have taken control over a, a town in the bordering Parwan province. This is something we've not had a Taliban response to yet. Uh, but it is something which is frustrating for the Taliban because if they do announce a government, uh, you know, if they, you know, at a time when they haven't taken control of Panjshir, it will mean there is a group of people, including former Vice President Amrullah Saleh, who say they're the real representatives of Afghanistan, that he's the caretaker president.